Hi everybody, Steve Sheets here, Ghost Ranch Communications. I uh, wanted to talk to you today, uh, share some tips about the quick access toolbar and customizing ribbons so that you can optimize your workspace for your workflow. And you might be asking, what is the quick access toolbar? Quick access toolbar by default is just a few buttons up here. Um, helpful, but not nearly as helpful as it can be. And let's dive in to making it better. Uh, one of the first things I like to do is click this here to show it below the ribbon. Just gets it down a little bit closer to where the action is, makes the buttons easier to see. And uh, if you've got it up top, it's gonna cut off maybe two thirds of the way across the screen. You get a lot more real estate for adding more features to it when you've got it down here. So what kinds of stuff can you put into there? Well, if there's more commands button, you can put anything you want in there. Um, by default shows the popular commands uh, like spelling. That's a great one. Let's go ahead and add it. And then where's everything else? Well, outside of popular commands, we can check out all commands. And then we've got a lot more options such as, let's see, line to center. That's a good one. Line to middle, go ahead and add that. Um, and let's just check this out real quick. There we go, spelling, very good, I passed. Um, and then, say I wanted to like resize this guy, pop him back into the middle, good to go. Um, so it's, it's coming along, a couple good things in there. Um, but just how awesome can it be? Well, if you would like, I'm providing a link where you can import my custom toolbar and then it's going to look like I had to do this twice for some reason earlier today. Just wants me to be really sure there we go. So there's all of the buttons that I typically have in the toolbar. Um, so we've got like insert picture, compress pictures, uh, crop, line top, middle, bottom, left, center, right, distribute vertical, distribute horizontal, uh, group, which is just control G, uh, not too much reason to have that one up there, but I did hear a Mac user say recently that um, sometimes that button works when the key command doesn't. Um, I haven't had that happen yet on a PC, but I'm definitely keeping it around to, to test a little bit, find out. Um, rotate, flip horizontal, flip vertical, and send to back. The key commands to rearrange objects are great, but rather than mashing a bunch of buttons and using up all of your undos. Uh, sometimes it's nice to just send it straight to the back. So certainly welcome to import that toolbar to your machine, customize it, however works best for you. And um, if you ever change machines, you can of course export yours and then import it onto the next machine and be set up good to go. Uh, I also mentioned I would be talking about customizing the ribbons, which is right here. Can also be done by right clicking on the ribbon. It works just like the quick access toolbar. Select stuff, you can add it or remove it. Um, I'll be honest, I really don't mess with custom ribbons a whole lot. I think the quick access toolbar is easy enough to modify that if I really need something, I'll just modify that toolbar on an on a as needed basis. Um, or rather than messing with the default ribbon, if I am going to, to be changing a ribbon, sometimes maybe just make a new tab and then put all the tools you need in the new tab. Um, but yeah, so there we have it some 
beginner slash intermediate tips on using the quick access toolbar and custom ribbons. Uh, if this video was helpful for you, please feel free to like or subscribe. Any functions that you love to have in your ribbon that we haven't included, I'd be very curious to hear about it. So please let us know in the comments and um, feel free to check us out at the Ghost Ranch website. That's www.ghostran.ch where you can learn all things PowerPoint, check out more video tutorials and see what we've been up to. Um, thanks for tuning in with us here at Ghost Ranch. Have a great day.